We've had some rough nights of sleep. This is just me, so let's wear this. Oh, I hope this all fits in this container. But I wanted to do a little quick story time. Kind of like an internet conflict with another influencer. Okay guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I feel like it's been a bit since I vlogged. I feel like I was vlogging non-stop over the holidays and then I kind of just, I don't know, I feel like everyone, if you do YouTube or like social media, I feel like December is just hectic between vlogging and brand stuff and obviously just like normal life, not necessarily social media related, but it just obviously felt a little bit hectic. So I feel like I haven't really picked up the camera in, it's definitely been a few days. Maybe even like longer than a few days. So anyway, I'm gonna start off a new vlog today. We might end up going to the park with my girlfriend and her daughters, cause it's like 70 degrees today. It's like unseasonably warm. In my house, I'm still freezing, which is why I'm wearing this Sherpa, but it's apparently gonna be like 70 degrees today, so it should be nice. So we thought we would get out of the house, spend some time outside, and I think we're gonna get sushi for dinner, which I'm very excited about. But I actually want to start off this video with a little a haul. I have a couple new things here. I actually have to sit down and film like a totally separate, like dedicated haul. So <laughs> kind of just getting some work done right now while Cole is sleeping. I wish I was sleeping. We've had some rough nights of sleep, so mama is tired but i brought myself to life a little bit with like some blue eyeshadow today how are we feeling about that i don't put color on my eyes very much but i needed it today why do i feel like this jacket looks like i'm wearing like a big fur coat like it feels so big <laughs> for some reason i mean it's big and oversized but like dang also, is it really dark? Okay, hopefully that's better. I wanted to just run through these a couple new things I got. This is kind of like, it seems like a big pile, but it's really not that much stuff because it's kind of a couple different sets. And these pieces were actually sent over to me from Nora Cora, and they're actually sponsoring this portion of today's vlog, which I'm so excited to be working with them. They have some really cool, and honestly, I just picked out a lot of like cozy pieces. Y'all know the deal. I feel like I see everyone in like such cute outfits like cute little blouses and tops and like all this stuff and they have things like that on Norcore as well but like for me <laughs> as much as I love that style and I sometimes I'm like I wish I could put on something just like really nice looking this is just me like this is just me I just want to wear things that are cozy and comfy you know it's like the stay-at-home mom life that's just what I'm here for so I have a lot of really cozy comfy pieces in this little try on to show you all so I will insert the clips of me wearing these pieces so you can get a better idea of how they look but honestly kind of similar to what I'm wearing right now check out this like a zip up Sherpa like how freaking cozy is that i just love i feel like this is different than i mean i have a lot of sherpas i love like a fuzzy sherpa jacket but this one's ribbed so i feel like it kind of makes it just a little bit different gives it a little bit more of like a visual interest it has like a higher collar which i also love i feel like that just always looks more flattering and it's just cozier and it's just like a nice design feature like i just i love a little collar moment and otherwise it's just really simple it's like a nice and neutral color it has pockets and just how nice is this color so neutral i love Love the ribbing i've like never seen a rib sherpa jacket before so this is just super cozy and oh just so so yummy and so cute i feel like you could literally throw this on with like a cuter outfit with denim or you could even just wear it with like a sports bra and leggings which is what i'm wearing right now and it looks cute no matter what and it's super cozy so i love that that's literally like <laughs> right up my alley and then honestly i'm probably gonna switch into this <laughs> Like after I show it to y'all like right now because I'm just feeling like this is too big right now to be sitting here and filming. But this is just a really, really big, super cozy, long line cardigan. I got this one in a size small. I'll put the sizing down below. This one's in a size medium and then I got this in a small just because I didn't want this to be too, too big. I like to size up in like my cozy stuff, but my true size is a size small. So I got this cardigan in a small and it's just like a, like a must have. Like I feel like everyone needs a cardigan like this in their closet you'll see in the try on better obviously than i'm showing you right now because it's kind of ginormous but it's just a really pretty like cream color like not like a chunky knit but it is definitely like a bigger really pretty knit cardigan and y'all this is like heavy like if you feel this in like a ball like this feels just like really heavy and like thick and well made like i'm honestly really surprised at the quality it feels so so nice like it feels a lot more expensive than it is and it's just like such a classic staple for your closet it's definitely like a longer line as again you'll see in the try on so it's pretty long and it actually has like little slits in it it has kind of like a different sort of rib texture at the bottom and 
along the opening so it's just like cute it's very simple but it's like well designed I guess like there are just like little features to it that make it really flattering I think the slit just makes it kind of flowier because it is so long and because it's a nice neutral color you can literally wear this with any outfit and I feel like these are the kind of pieces that are sort of all year round pieces because obviously like in the summer I feel like sometimes we just need a cardigan for like the evenings but obviously in the winter this is perfect for layering I'm gonna legit put it on right now over my sports bra I just worked out like 30 minutes ago and as cozy as that shirt is it's just ginormous so let's wear this instead here we go so cute so cozy like this literally is the perfect thing to wear with any outfit so cute okay I just moved the camera over a little I felt like it was still so dark despite the fact that there's a window and a light right here I'm not sure what's going on this is another again just like comfy cozy piece this is kind of like a sort of like a chunkier knit sweater it's kind of got like the cable knit design on it and it's a really pretty like creamy gray color but what i thought was so fun and different about this is it kind of has like a v-neck like almost like a cutout built in with a little bit of a sort of a ribbed collar situation so i feel like it has kind of like your standard cable knit features like on most of the sweater it's a little bit ribbed at the bottom but i thought this like neckline was just a little bit unique and different like i don't have any sweaters that have you know like a v-neck sort of like that it almost looks like it was cut but obviously it's like part of the design i just thought it was a little fun twist on kind of like a standard sweater and it's super super cozy i got a size medium in this one such a good just like loungy like kind of casual sweater to wear around the house and with leggings which is my life and then these last like four pieces I feel like are technically only like two pieces because they're little like sweater like lounge sets almost and well I really don't have like any lounge sets that aren't like hoodie and sweatpants that are more like I don't know like an elevated <laughs> lounge set if that makes sense so you'll see in the try on but I got this like white kind of like fuzzy v-neck that pairs like perfectly with the pants these come together so it's the exact same material just like a really soft as you can see like super cozy fuzzy material but I like that this one had sort of that v-neck to it so it has a little bit more of like a cuter like feminine touch to it and I mean it's super super simple otherwise but really really soft and like fuzzy and cozy it's like the tiniest bit sheer it's honestly not very sheer I was wearing like a darker sports bra when I filmed the try on for this and I feel like you can't really see it through very much I feel like it's just kind of like the standard amount of sheer that like white things typically are where you generally want to just wear maybe like a nude bra or like a nude pair of underwear just to like be safe so it's not overly sheer but it's just you know something to be careful of with anything that's white but super comfy and honestly I was shocked these pants I'm like five nine and these pants were long enough for me and typically most pants unless I'm able to get them in a long version are a little short so I was honestly pleasantly surprised at the length of these and just like how cozy and comfy they are and I like the idea of a matching set obviously you can treat this kind of like PJs just kind of like around the house but I I feel like you could totally wear this out with like some Uggs or something too and it would still be really cozy and comfy and then last but not least I really like this one and honestly what I like about this even a little more so than that one is I feel like these pieces could work separately really well obviously you could wear the white set separately too but this set here is more like a sweater lounge set as opposed to more like a PJ or obviously like a hoodie and sweatpants this is like a knit sweater and like knit pants combo which I've actually worn this sweater already but I love this it's a really creamy pretty chocolate color I got this I got the white set in a size medium and this one as well again I like to go with mediums just to be like safe in terms of making sure everything's like nice and cozy and relaxed fitting and this is such a nice material it's like really stretchy and bouncy but also like squishy so it's super super soft it has a little bit of like a wider sleeve not like a bell sleeve but it's just a little bit wider than like your standard sleeve so I think that's a really really pretty touch I love how that looks it's got a bit of a collar nothing like too crazy it's got a tiny slit but like for the most part it's just kind of like a nice basic sweater which I honestly love this I wore this without the pants I wore it with a pair of jeans to go out and grab pizza and it was just like so easy to throw on super comfy I had a bunch of necklaces with it and it looked so cute so I love that this piece can kind of stand on its own but it does come with the matching pants as well which look exactly the same they're the same material like super super stretchy and 
comfy they're like I wouldn't say that they're flares they're more like they almost look like flares the way I'm holding them but they're more like kind of a straight leg with like I don't know maybe the tiniest flare it's not like a very like noticeable flare but they're super super comfortable and not like too form-fitting they're nice and relaxed fitting and I think they look so cute together but I totally think they look really cute separate as well like this could be worn just like around the house with a hoodie and then like I said this can just be worn with denim or anything like that what I like about this especially is it doesn't look so much like PJs obviously this looks more like just kind of like an intentionally matching sweater set sort of thing so this would definitely be so cute to run errands in with like a puffer vest and again like Uggs or like clogs or you know the sliding clogs or anything like that and just like with the white pants these were long enough on me as well which I was seriously so shocked I feel like I'm always gambling when it comes to the length of pants you know just for me at my height so yeah everything fits surprisingly really really well so of course I will have everything linked down below for you guys to check out I hope that the try on portion was helpful I really have been liking y'all have probably seen in a lot of my recent vlogs I've been really enjoying incorporating some like fashion like try on haul type content into my vlog just because I feel like not everything necessarily calls for its own dedicated video and sometimes I think it's fun to switch up the vlog content with you know a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of haul some cooking food like all that kind of stuff I kind of like mixing up the vlog content with a whole bunch of different stuff so I hope that you guys enjoyed I hope the try on is helpful like I said everything will be linked down below for y'all to check out and thank you again to Nora Cora for sponsoring this portion of today's video I need to like I said film another video so I'm honestly just gonna pretty much stay put right here switch my camera out and do a little more work and then I will bring y'all along with us for the rest of the day Just got our new chef shipment in, so I need to put this stuff away. And then I was gonna make, I don't even know if you can call it a recipe. <laughs> it's literally like the easiest thing ever, but okay. So this is the, this is how Home Chef does it. By the way, I do have a coupon code, like I said, I'm not sponsored, but I do have a very, very good coupon code for Home Chef if you ever wanna try it. You can basically just get a bunch of Meals. And then they also have these pizzas that are insanely good. This pesto chicken is our favorite and Cole really likes it as well. I was just explaining what I'm about to make to Ken and he thinks it sounds weird and like maybe it does but I feel like sometimes like the weird things that people explain that they make for recipes, you end up trying them and you're like that was actually good so I want to share this with y'all there's obviously a lot of um, different varieties it's literally like three ingredients so easy but it's literally a can of basically any beans um, I often do black beans but we have like for whatever reason a lot of <laughs> garbanzo beans right now so I'm just gonna use these I really like black beans so I do that a lot you can obviously use like kidney beans or whatever and then oh, you know it kind of makes me sad when I open cans nowadays because Nala our cat that passed away whenever you'd open a can she would come sprinting from wherever in the house she was because she thought it was like cat food even though you don't open cat food with a can and we never fed her in the kitchen so i don't really know where she got that association from maybe like wherever she lived before we got her but anyway now that she's obviously passed away no cat comes running when i open cans anymore and it makes me a little bit sad but anyway so it's basically whatever kind of beans you want and then a can of corn and then um pretty much like any salad dressing she my, i actually got this recipe from my neighbor back in the day that i used to babysit her kiddos and she would do black beans corn and Italian like salad dressing but you can literally do this with like whatever you have so obviously like I said I'm using the chickpeas corn and then I'm going to use this honey chipotle dressing from this is like the Target brand but it is really good with Italian dressing we just don't have any right now and I'm not like a big fan of Italian dressing except in this recipe but yeah you literally just like mix these three things I'm going to drain these and that's it so it's kind of like a little like veggie salad almost you know kind of like a pasta salad with no pasta this probably would be good with pasta too honestly if you wanted to add like a little bit of carbs i know i'm not in focus right now but if you wanted to kind of use these ingredients and then throw in some like tiny pasta like ditalini or and like maybe some cheese like cubed cheese or shredded cheese 
maybe like some olives or something. I feel like this has the potential to be kind of like the start of a pasta salad recipe. It is definitely a lower, you know, calorie kind of option, a slightly like healthier like side dish or snack. And obviously beans have a good amount of protein in them. So it has that going for it. Literally, I'm just gonna put these in here. Oh, I hope this all fits in this container. And you can use like a lot of different veggies too. Like you could totally use like um, canned, wow. <laughs> I can um, like green beans or like literally anything and then you can flavor this up too obviously I'm not showing y'all like seasonings but I'm gonna put some salt um you could do like a lot of cool seasonings you could use some of the Trader Joe's like the chili lime or like a cool interesting seasoning you can literally do like anything with this I call it a recipe but like it's really <laughs> I feel like it's hardly even a recipe it's just like a perfect little especially in the summer it's a really nice like cool because i keep it in the fridge obviously a really cool kind of like refreshing little healthy side dish this would be really good served like with hot dogs or burgers i need to add some salt but oh my gosh literally so good so easy but so good i was actually thinking um of putting in some hot sauce too but i'm gonna let ken try it because he thinks it's weird before i do the hot sauce because he doesn't really like spicy but Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's okay. good. It's like literally three ingredients, but it's a good snack. I, I would give it like a six and a half, maybe a maybe a week seven. <laughs> well, you were talking so bad about it, so honestly, I'll take it. Coley. <laughs> He's like, hey, this is nice. I'm just getting transported. Put your feet down. There this you is go. great. Woo! Go, go. <laughs> good job. Go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Coley. Go. What do you think? And this is tricky. This is not even solid ground. <laughs> Holy wolf. You want the ball? Okay, go get it. Go get it. Yay! Here we go, Coley. Oh, watch out, he's gonna crush into you. What? He's very heavy. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Here we go. <gasps> These guys are about to open up. I think it's about to rain, but kind of a funny thing. And so this is kind of my bad. And also I think it was maybe a little misinterpreted, but there's this like fitness influencer, whatever, that my husband followed and then I started following and I saw a reel of hers today. I'm so sorry about this angle that popped up and she was like working out with like a hoodie and like kind of like her hair down sort of and like big headphones. And I, whenever I see that, I'm just like, is this how you actually work out or is this how you work out when you're filming your workout like for reels or TikTok or whatever you do and so I shared it to my story and I was just like I appreciate these reels but like if you work out with a hoodie like I just feel like you're not doing it right like as in 
you're not, you know, you say like, oh, if you're not using the setting spray, like you're not doing it right. Like not that you're actually doing anything wrong, but I meant it as like, I just can't like understand how you're doing it that way. Cause I personally, hi honey. Yeah. I personally could not work out in a sweatshirt. I would literally, literally die. And so that's like all I meant by it was like working out in like layers, not that like, She's not obviously lifting properly or, you know, whatever. I just personally could literally never work out in a sweatshirt or like a beanie or like with my hair down. Like I literally would not be able to complete the workout <laughs> like physically. So that's all I was saying, but I had nothing to do with the girl whose real life shared. It literally just had to do with, it could have been anyone's real in a sweatshirt. And I just, it made me have that thought. But the girl I guess saw it and obviously it didn't even occur to me that she might like check who sees her reels, whatever. And she like kept messaging me and she wasn't really being mean or anything, but she was clearly like very, you okay? She clearly is just like, a, I think she's like a sensitive person, which is a little hard to do if you're gonna be like putting yourself on the internet. And she was just like, oh no, like it's really cold here and I'm in a surplus. So I'm just a little bit like uncomfortable, you know, without having like a baggy t-shirt or a hoodie on. And like, I, I am working out right and like, she wasn't really being too like catty or anything like that. She was just, I guess it bothered her and she felt like she had to address it. And it made me feel a little badly because I, I literally wasn't commenting on like her as a person or like feeling or saying anything negative towards her. I was, I was just kind of addressing like working out in layers as like a general concept. It had literally nothing to do with her. And so I like, I felt badly that I, cause I guess she posted on her stories about it and Ken saw it and he told me about it that she was basically just like addressing it more in the sense of like, let people wear what they want to wear to the gym, like don't judge. And like, she's obviously totally right. Like, I, of course you can wear whatever you want to the gym. And if you like working out, if you want to sweat extra, like whatever it is, I was literally just commenting on the fact that like, just like if I saw someone wearing like six inch heels, I would be like, the fact that anyone's doing that seems crazy to me because I could never in a million years, but obviously, you know, if that's your vibe and that's your vibe. So I really, I felt kind of bad because it clearly like really bothered her. And like I said, she wasn't being overly like rude or mean about it. Like when she addressed it, she just was clearly upset by it. And obviously it is never my intention to upset anybody or like hurt anybody's feelings with anything I say, you know, especially another woman trying to, you know, get her fitness and all those things. So I think it was a little bit of a miscommunication and whatever. So she messaged me and then I was messaging with her and like we talked it through and I think like cleared it up and then she put on her stories that like okay it's all good like it was a miscommunication we talked about it and it's all good or whatever so we cleared it up but um I just thought it was kind of funny because I feel like if you're an influencer generally you don't let stuff get like that get to you or like address it so anyway that was just kind of a funny story time because I like generally like wasn't trying to say anything bad but she got really upset by it but we like were chatting and she seems generally pretty nice and we cleared it up and she was like saying that she you know is glad that we talked about it and whatever so it's all good and I think she feels better and I feel better having cleared it up to her I don't want to like hurt anyone's <laughs> feelings or anything so um yeah just kind of a funny story time having like a kind of like an internet conflict with another influencer i would i felt bad honestly but yes if you work out in a sweatshirt or beanie or nothing or anything totally you know wear what you want to wear to work out and whatever you're most comfortable in is what you should wear but i think women should wear whatever they feel good in to work out no matter what so that's not the message i wanted to send and she makes a very good point you should but I guess basically the bigger moral of the story is that I just feel like I think she has like 60,000 followers on Instagram So I feel like you would just think when you're you know that size which is like a decent size You know not gigantic, but not small or anything. I guess I was just surprised that she was looking through All of the mentions like all the people that share her stuff I was just I guess kind of surprised. I didn't obviously expect her to see it on my story She doesn't follow me or anything. So I was a little bit surprised that she was like going through all of her mentions and then reading them and then like responding to them and then not only reading it but then addressing it on her story and like I feel like it, I'm just I guess a little bit surprised that she would go out of her way to read Think like read stories that her reels are shared to and then I guess feel the need to like Respond to me personally and address it on her story and stuff like that That's part of why I felt bad because obviously I didn't expect her to see it in the first place But I didn't want to make her I clearly like upset her and like kind of affected her day I didn't want to affect anyone's day because after like we cleared it up She posted on her story is like, okay, we're good. Like her and I talked about it. It was just a miscommunication I'm gonna like move on with my day like 
clearly really bothered her, which made me feel bad. So anyway, I was just surprised that, I don't know, she went out of her way to like find it, but anyway, that's my little story time. It's, it's all good now. All right, they like hooked up the sushi today. This like spicy drizzle is real generous. And look at the amount of cream cheese in there. My gosh. Ken just realized when we were taking his before pictures for his current deficit that he's in. Wait, what's it called? A lumbar? No, it's just like an anterior pelvic tilt. Yeah, he has his back just like really kind of scoops in. So <laughs> he was up till like so late last night, like an hour past when he usually goes to bed trying to like look up stretches and come down and he took our exercise bench out to like do his stretches and it was a whole thing. But anyway, we had such a good sushi dinner. Um, but And I was going to grab it. I think, did I mention on the vlog? I was going to grab the sushi on the way home from like Target and stuff and then it was looking like it was gonna rain and I hadn't ordered it and I was like too close to order it and then it'd be ready in time so Ken just went out and got it. But we didn't get to go on our walk because of it raining. I'm gonna do some of my, people always think that these look so questionable. It's just a, I guess I can link these, they're from Amazon. It's a cordless jump rope, which this one has a bunch of bite marks in it from Coley. But um, they're kind of nice, not like super weighted. They have a little bit of weight to them. So it's kind of nice if you want to jump rope, but you don't want to actually like trip or hit the ceiling or slap the floor or you're just not coordinated, which is my like primary reason for using them. And they're super cute too. But anyway, that um, was our day. And I think I'm just going to probably wrap up this vlog here. I have an appointment tomorrow. I feel like in the winter time or the winter time, well, the winter time, but the Christmas time we had so much going on like non-stop and now we like don't really have like a ton of things coming up or like trips or anything like that so I'm like what am I even gonna vlog because I feel like our days are gonna look kind of I don't know a lot like today I'm not like overly exciting but um I don't know we're gonna kind of be back like in our normal not overly <laughs> exciting like super vloggable routine like I feel like during the holiday time we had a lot to vlog and now we just kind of don't but I hope that you enjoyed our little um my little try on haul our little day at the park our little shopping trip and I don't know this is just kind of like a standard stay at home mom kind of day so thank you guys so much for watching thank you again to Norcora for partnering with me on today's video like I said everything will be linked down below and I hope y'all did enjoy if you would like to subscribe we'd love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time I will see y'all in our next video bye guys